Hello, and welcome to this service of virtual Christian worship. My name is Reverend John Van Nuys. I'm the pastor at Wabash Avenue Presbyterian Church in Crawfordsville, Indiana. On behalf of everyone in our church family, our governing board, the session, our deacons, and every member of our church family, we make you welcome. Although the pandemic has separated us spatially, we are nonetheless one together spiritually by the power and gift and presence of the Holy Spirit where two or more are gathered, Christ is in our midst. So let us trust that in this next period of time that Christ is with us and that God in Christ through the power of the Holy Spirit has something to say to all of us collectively and to you individually. I would imagine there are some new faces on the other side of the screen, and I look forward to meeting you as circumstances permit. This service has over 20 participants. Uh, they are listed as each segment of this service of Lessons and Carols appears. We want to especially thank our video editor, Bill Domel, for his patient compilation, for his expertise and for working with some of the slower ones among us who uh, aren't so tech savvy. So Bill, we are in your debt. We give thanks to God for you. We traditionally at the Christmas Eve service receive an offering at the exits. Uh, plates are put by the doors for the Christmas joy offering. That offering seeks to bless uh, rising students at Presbyterian mission schools and retired church workers. So your gift, large or small, can change lives through education and through sharing God's grace with all. So I invite you to share a generous gift, either through the Presbyterian Church webpage or the Wabash Avenue webpage, or you can simply write a check, mail it to the church, and indicate that it's for the Christmas Joy Offering. This offering is promoted by the deacons, and they thank you for sharing. Let us now come before the Lord in worship, in this service of Lessons and Carols, in which we will hear the Christmas story both in word and song.
in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through Him, and without Him, not one thing came into being. What has come into being in Him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. There was a man sent from God, whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light, so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him. Yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood, or of the will of the flesh, or of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and lived among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory as of a father's only son, full of grace and truth. John testified to him and cried out, This was he of whom I said, He who comes after me ranks ahead of me, because he was before me. From his fullness we have all received grace upon grace, the law, indeed, was given through Moses. Grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God. It is God, the only Son, who is close to the Father's heart, who has made himself known. Oh, come, all ye faithful, joyful and triumphant. Oh, come ye, oh, come ye to Bethlehem. Come and behold him, born the King of angels. A reading from Isaiah. You have multiplied the nation. You have increased its joy. They rejoice before you as with the joy at the harvest, as people exult when dividing plunder. For the yoke of their burden and the bar across their shoulders, the rod of their oppressor, you have broken as on the day of Median. For all the boots of the trampling warriors and all the garments rolled in blood shall be burned as fuel for the fire. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace.
reading from Luke. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be holy. He will be called Son of God. And now your relative Elizabeth in her old age has also conceived a son. And this is the sixth month for her who was said to be barren. For nothing will be impossible with God. Then Mary said, Here am I, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. A reading from Luke. Mary said, My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on the lowliest of his servants. Surely from now on all generations will call me blessed, for the Mighty One has done great things for me, and holy is his name. His mercy is for those who fear him, from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm. He has scattered the proud in the thoughts of their hearts. He has brought down the powerful from their thrones and lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy according to the promise he made to our ancestors, to Abraham and to his descendants forever. Shout that the God of my heart is great. 
my spirit sings of the wondrous things that you bring to the ones who wait. You fixed your sight on your servant's plight, and my weakness you did not spurn. So from east to west shall my name be blessed, could the world be about to turn. My heart shall sing of the day you bring, let the fires of your justice burn. Wipe away all tears, for the dawn draws near and the world is about to turn. Though the nations reach from age to age, we remember who holds us fast. God's mercy must deliver us from the conqueror's crushing grasp. This saving word that our forebears heard is the promise which holds us bound. Crushed by God, who is turning the world around. My heart shall sing of the day you bring. Let the fires of your justice burn. Wipe away all tears, for the dawn draws near, and the world is about to turn. A reading from Luke. In those days a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to the city of David called Bethlehem because he was descended from the house and the family of David. He went to be registered with Mary with whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them at the inn. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth, peace.
peace to those on whom his favor rests. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told them about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, as it had been told them. Once in royal David city, in a lowly cattle shed, where a mother laid her baby in a
After Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea, during the time of King Herod, Magi from the east came to Jerusalem and asked, Where is the one who has been born King of the Jews? We saw his star when it rose, and have come to worship him. When King Herod heard this, he was disturbed, and all Jerusalem with him. When he had called together all the people's chief priests and teachers of the law, and asked them where the Messiah was to be born. In Bethlehem, in Judea, they replied, for this is what the prophet has written. But you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For out of you will come a ruler who will shepherd my people, Israel. Then Herod called the Magi secretly and found out from them the exact time the star had appeared. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search carefully for the child. As soon as you find him, report to me, so that I too may go and worship him. After they had heard the king, they went on their way. And the star they had seen when it rose went ahead of them until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were overjoyed. On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother, Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to go back to Herod, they returned to their country by another route. We three kings of Orient are Bearing gifts we traverse afar Field and fountain, moor and mountain Following yonder star Oh, star of wonder, star of night Star with royal beauty bright, Westward leading, still proceeding, Guide us to thy perfect light. Glorious now, behold him arise, King and God and sacrifice. Alleluia, Alleluia, sounds through the earth and skies. O oh, star of wonder, star of night, star with royal beauty bright, Westward leading, still proceeding, guide us to thy perfect light. A reading from Colossians. As God's chosen ones, Holy and beloved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience. Bear with one another, and if anyone has a complaint against another, forgive each other. Just as the Lord has forgiven you, so you must also forgive. Above all, clothe yourselves with love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. And let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which indeed you were called in the one body. And be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. Teach and admonish one another in all wisdom. And with gratitude in your hearts, sing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs to God. And whatever you do, in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Thank you. 
Now to him who is able to establish you in accordance with my gospel, the lesson I proclaim about Jesus Christ, in keeping with the revelation of the mystery hidden for long ages past, but now revealed and made known through the prophetic writings by the command of the eternal God, so that all the Gentiles might come to the obedience that comes from faith. To the only wise God be glory forever through Jesus Christ. Amen. Let us pray. Gracious God, on this night you gave us your son wrapped in swaddling clothes, the Savior of all, lying in a manger. We thank you for drawing us into this holy mystery and for joining our voices with the heavenly host 
to sing your praise. O God, give us such love and wonder that with shepherds and magi we may behold our Savior Jesus and bestow upon him our gifts and worship this night and always. O God, as you came long ago on that first silent holy night, so enter our lives and world again today. Illumine our paths that we may see and follow your way, truth, and life. Help us to share Christ's love with all who are hurting and forgotten. We pray for our world in the midst of the current pandemic. Protect all frontline and essential workers as they labor to serve and protect us. Heal all who are infected. Restore them to health and life. Help us all to practice the habits that stem the spread of this disease. Speed the day when the threat of COVID-19 is neutralized and this pandemic is ended. We pray for our divided nation, asking your blessings on all our elected officials, that they may help us heal and once again work together to advance the common good. We pray that you will help us confront the hidden prejudice in our hearts and in our nation. Help us dismantle those structures that keep everyone from being equally protected and fully loved. We pray your mercies this night upon all who grieve. Bless all who are forgotten and sick, discarded and hungry. Especially we pray for all of the children growing up in poverty in our county who do not always have enough to eat. Help us to share so they are fed. Shelter all whose lives are threatened by poverty, terror, and war. Bless the 80 million refugees now homeless who have lost everything due to war and natural disaster. Help us to open our hearts to them and help all nations to open their borders to them. For as we welcome them, we welcome you. Protect our servicemen and women, bless and strengthen their families, keep them safe and bring them home. As you taught us, we pray for our enemies that you might change them and us. Help us all to find ways to beat our swords into plowshares that the plague of violence and vengeance may cease. May our hate, inequity, and division give way to your love, justice, and peace. Help us all to follow your star. Shine the light of that star and of your salvation upon the least, last, and lost, and even upon us, that your saving love may prevail and that all may live in peace. We pray this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Receive now the charge and the benediction. Friends, we have heard the story of the birth of the Christ. Let us not only hear that story, but let us live that story. Let us go forth into God's world as witnesses to that story, sharing its truth through the love of our lives, through compassion, through generosity, through lives of faith and hope and love. For as we do, Christ's light will shine upon the world. It will shine through you and all will be blessed. Now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord turn a shining face toward you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace now and forevermore. Amen.